Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past with me, Get Date. In the last episode, we fought a wizard, failed to stop him from opening a gate between worlds, and now we're dealing with the consequences. That enemy we just called is called the Snapdragon, or just killed is called the Snapdragon. They're pretty nasty. These, uh, cyclopic enemies are pretty terrible, too. If you have silver arrows, they're not so bad. Also, you can kill them really easily by just throwing a bomb at them. There we go. I had to deflect them into it. Also, some of the trees in the Dark World are alive. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. We have an empty bottle, so I might as well, uh... Oh... Barry didn't want to be permanently trapped in there. I wasn't going to use that bottle for the whole game. Could have trapped that bee too, but I didn't. Alright, let's cut the crap off to the Pals of Darkness. Alright, now this is actually a similarity between the Light World and the Dark World. In this cave, in both worlds, there's a fairy who will give you full life. And, incidentally, the Palace of Darkness, where we are going, which is also the beginning of where my memory is going to start getting pretty foggy on how to beat these dungeons. Um, it, it's location is very analogous to the first dungeon we did in the light world. Oh, thanks buddy. Oh yeah, when you hold your sword out and just let enemies walk into it, that does half as much damage as a swing. Mm-hmm, looks good. Uh, kind of. Only the first person who touches it. What if I kill them? Look what happened to me. You turned into a Chia pet. Triforce. Hmm. Jedi. Alright, four hearts in here, I believe. Oh, actually... Oh, I guess that's only... In. Never mind. I thought you could shatter skulls by dashing into them, but... That's just the concussions talking. Alright, those birds are actually a lot more dangerous, so it's important that we not d take hits from them. Alright, also, you need 110 rupees for this part. I'm not gonna say why. Just make sure you have them. You can vaguely see Link in there, and also, eventually you'll be able to pick up a... He's being followed. There. Kiki the monkey. Can you spare some change? Sure. Now we have this stupid monkey following us. Don't get hit or he'll run away, and then you will need more money. You leave me alone. Take him to the entrance of the Palace of Darkness. He'll use his platforming skills to flick that other switch. And in we go. Alright, seems like we should go up the middle. Oh, I don't remember this place well at all. Let's 
Aside from the fact that these little guys are annoying. Alright, looks like we're going this way. I also could take the left door at some point. Alright, good time for a demonstration. There we go. Lots of life, everybody! Oh. It's me, Zelda! Oh, hey, Zelda! I actually know how to say your name. But please hurry. Okay. She's locked up at Turtle Rock. Which was a show with Muppets on it, I believe. Alright. Now, uh, circuitous. Those enemies are a little bit more vulnerable if you hit them with, um, a thrown object. Uh, the hammer also works well on them, we'll be getting that soon. enemies, these turtles coming towards us, I don't think we can kill right now. These floating turtle-like enemies. Uh... Yeah, I remembered that. Alright, key one received. I doubt I'll be able to throw a bomb to that crack, so we'll just have to remember it. Now well, let's jump. Leap of faith. Yellow skeletons, I believe, are going to decapitate themselves, yeah. I'll leave you alone if you just hang in there long enough. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Alright, the good news is we have two keys, so that gets us some uh, flexibility in our exploration. Also, the enemies tend to do a lot more damage in the Dark World, so you will see me taking a little bit... or fewer risks. In theory. <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll wear off soon enough, I'm sure. Key. It looks like we've taken the least efficient possible path through this entire region, though. Oh, great. Alright. And region visited for the third time. Okay. I believe both of these... Ah, thanks. Both the right and the left path meet now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, looks like that's only a return path, so we'll have to make the jump. Also, once we do make this jump, there's no coming back, because I uh, pushed off our only escape route.
memory serves. Yeah, if we want to go up there, we'll have to do a timed bomb toss. Um, I'm not quite prepared to commit to that yet. I want to check out what's up here. We have the big key, so... Walk up against the wall to fool that stupid stoop. Oh, goodness. So those guys are a little bit like the uh, green and red knights we were killing uh, in the first dungeon. Here we go. ever see a statue with a really big eye? Put an arrow in it. Also, you can see that the side pattern didn't continue here. Alright, so this would lead to the end of the dungeon. We need the hammer to bop those guys, though. So hit again, I think we are taking the worst possible route. Oh well. Okay, you're all getting a thorough, uh, oh no, examination of uh, the different parts of the dungeon. Learn from my mistakes. Alright. Take advantage of the delayed uh, fuse on it. And our last key. Come on. You have to hurry down there. Compass, we need a key to be able to advance, and ideally we'll have two. We've also found the big... Um, big treasure chest, but not in a useful form yet. Uh, I'm curious as to what I'm going to see here, so I'm going to spend the magic power to light this. Two keys? One? This is totally not going to be one, because that would be too convenient. An arrow! That's why you should always just transform them. Alright, that was nice and efficient. Um, I guess there could be something useful down there. I always get kind of confused in this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the state real quick. Because there is a catch in this dungeon where you can render it so you can't explore the whole thing. And it might be because of visiting this. Like, this room has no puzzle solving value, right? That just takes us back to where we've been before. And unless there's something good here. Alright, so this lesson was to inform you that... Oh, goodness, I'll keep it. We should have stuck with Dave's initial impulse, which was not to spend the key on that room. Because if you have an opportunity to get closer to the dungeon treasure, and you have the big key, you take it. Very careful around these guys, they do a fair amount of damage. Key? 
useless bombs. Although we can probably use those to blow a hole in the wall, because uh, it looked, when we saw the big treasure chest, it looked like it was largely inaccessible. Key, so we can explore that useless side path. And the test? I'm actually going to hold on to it, though. We know... I mean, uh, in real life, I probably would have investigated that side room, but I, I'm going to hold on to the key for now. Because there'd have to be something pretty amazing in there to make it worthwhile. And we know there isn't. I'm pretty sure the intent of the dungeon designers was that we would backtrack there now. Just in time. Alright. And you can also use the hammer to smash those. It's pretty strong. What to next? Guess we had that path that required the hammer to open. And getting over there is always a chore. It involves a teleportation tile. go, and up. I wonder if the hammer will work. No. Well, it was a worthy experiment. goodness. <laughs> Link takes the spiked bouncing tile in the chest. Alright. We can also flip these turtles, which makes them a lot easier to take out. Can't we use four items at once, or three items at once, like in later Zelda games? Oh goodness. Faster and faster, more and more aggressive. Hmm. If I were a betting man, this is gonna take us up top. And if we go to the oh no, straight to the straight to the boss of the dungeon, it looks like. And we never did explore that side section. Vister, you can use bombs. Or you can use the hammer. 
also attacks with the tail sometimes. Here it comes. Okay. I don't want the black mark on my record. Just a little bit more. There we go. anybody. And it's a good thing we used the potion. And our first crystal. And we never did get that last treasure chest or that last part of the dungeon. Always miss it. You're welcome. Mm hmm. The boss of thieves. There's a lot of thief gangs in this uh, game. Okay. You bet. She wants out of that crystal. And... Because this is still irking me. yonder, jump down. Travel through. No, that's not right. You know what, everybody? I'm gonna end the recording here. Off camera, I'll try figuring out how to get to that one room because it's just gnawing away at me and driving me crazy. I'll see you all in the next video, everybody.